praying. Be ready. Praying. Praying to be ready. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Um, um, at Bedside, Bedside Baptist this morning. Um, I just wanted to come in and talk this morning. I hope y'all had a great week this morning. I got my coffee. Um, probably too hot because I steamed the cream too. The cream is um caramel macchiato cream. Um, it's a little bit um uh, not as strong as I would like, but yeah, I'm um. Watching my church service, <clears throat> trying to uh, pick up my energy today. Um, I'm going to uh, cook some pork chops and mac and cheese and some green beans for my son today. Um, This has been a very uh, trying time for me. As many of you know that uh, nine months ago, I, I did lose my dad. And, um, and my husband. Sometimes your mind just... I lost my dad and my husband of May of 2023, and I just been trying to pick up the pieces, you know, trying to um, decide whether or not I should move, relocate, um, <clears throat> what it is, you know, that I should do next, and what it is that God is wanting me to do next. And this week, uh, it was Thursday. Was it Thursday? A Thursday. My son has been saying that, um, well, it, he had been saying like that he had a boil or whatever. He's like, Mama, I got a boil and it's painting and this and that. And I, I gave him a pain patch. And he was like, um, it, it helped some, but when he woke up, what he thought was a ball, it had like bust and it was bleeding and everything. And he took a picture of it and I'm like, whoa, that's not a ball. So he went to the ER and they ran all type of tests and all type of x-rays and all of that. Um, and they scheduled a him appointment for a general surgeon that next morning at 10. So we didn't think that of it. We didn't think that it was anything serious, but, um, we got, went to the appointment and everything. And, um, my son has a cancerous growth that's, um, growing in his growing area that has grown and protruded out from his growing area and they found a spot on his liver as well so if you can imagine this has been it's been tough it's been tough. And when I tell you that um, to see him, him so afraid, 
to see him so um, confused, you know, why me, um, this can't be real, you know, all the things. And uh, not even a year ago to um, experience such great loss of, um, you know, the men in my family. Um, the men that are the closest to my heart and now my son. Um, it's devastating. It's devastating. It is devastating. I solicit, I solicit your prayers. I need your prayers. My family needs your prayers. We don't know if this, um, is a uphill journey. We don't know if this is a sprint. We don't know if this is a marathon. All we know is that we trust God. All I know is that I trust God. And, um, Here we are, once again, with another fight on our hands. I believe with my whole heart that all is going to be well. It got to be, you know? It got to be. It got to be. It got to be well. Um, I wasn't, you know, letting him see. I'm going to be back, y'all, okay? Okay, I'm back, y'all. I don't even know... Uh, Where I um left off at, that was my son. Uh, well, that was my daughter called, and um, then we just uh brought my son in, and we were just uh talking. Uh, he a little bit emotional this morning because he is on uh, he in pain, but uh. If uh if it's any men that's watching me, uh if his moms with boys, wives with husbands, sisters with brothers, aunties with uncles, friends with male friends, listen, y'all encourage these men to go to the doctor. Y'all encourage these men to go get their checkups. Black men do not go to the doctor like they should. They don't go get themselves checked out. They be afraid. Um, I'm going to look it up. Percentage of black men that go to the doctor. Because we really got to start doing better. I suppose, wait a minute. They go to the doctor.
55% of black men said that they don't go get regular checkups and stuff. We got to, um, we got to start encouraging, encouraging our men to go to the doctor and not wait so long for stuff to come up on them and not wait so long for to get checkups and all of that. But, um, I kind of don't feel like uh, talking anymore. Um, I'm going to finish watching uh, church service and uh, get up and um, cook uh, cook you something uh, to eat to take over there to him. He did say he was in a little pain or whatever. Um, and yeah. But, um, yeah, uh, I might just go ahead and upload uh, this vlog, um, for today. Um, I don't even know what all footage I got today. His surgery is Tuesday. Um, pray for us, um, as, uh, we go on this, um, next journey, this next challenge, this next test, and and uh, God will get the glory out of this. I'll talk to y'all later. I came back on to show you all that I started my lock journey. Um, I was relaxed. It's a process. So, I didn't want to do the big chop. I just let my daughter uh, start from my new growth. And we'll work it out as we can. So, I just wanted to show you all that.